brief drill and breathtaking views while dangling over ocean waters. Millions have gone parasailing in the U.S., often surprised that usually the experience once airborne is calm and peaceful, unless things go wrong as they did for one family in 2007. This beach is where 15-year-old Amber Mae White lost her life when a wind gust snapped a line. She and her sister Crystal were thrown into a building. But just last August, there was another parasailing death right off this very same beach. The Paracel Safety Council says that over the past 30 years, more than 70 have died and at least 1,600 have been injured out of an estimated 150 million rides during that time. Today, Crystal has children of her own and wants parasailing to be safer. And if they go up and something bad happens, there's nothing they can do about it because there are no laws or rules or regulations. Crystal's mom, Shannon, is trying to make Florida join the very few states with safety rules. She says each report of another accident brings back memories. She remembers very few things about the accident other than sitting or flying around in the air holding her sister and hugging her sister and telling them telling each other that they loved each other. The Coast Guard regulates boats with crews, but not parasails. This year, advocates asked the Federal Aviation Administration to regulate parasailing, but the agency wrote, FAA does not believe a compelling safety reason currently exists. In Florida, by far the state with the most parasail operators, lawmakers opposed to business regulation have blocked proposed safety rules. You know, it's safety versus regulation. Regulation is the dirty word. Some parasail operators agree there should be specific safety standards, but worry about the details. Who are making these rules, if you have somebody that has, has never been in a parasail but or doesn't know the workings of it, if, if they're making up rules that would have you know, little effect on, on what we, we do, I mean, that, that don't make sense. But Shannon Krause says safety should be good business. Come here and parasail safely and feel confident that if they have their teenage kids or college students that come from all over the United States come here and parasail. I want to make sure that they're safe. Florida lawmakers will consider the issue again early next year. Tony Winton, the Associated Press, Miami.